Hello all, in this video, I will explain when you should use fuzzy MCDM. Now to explain this, I will use an example. I took this data from Wikipedia, which says that the average height of a people or person in Netherlands is 183 centimeter, whereas the average height of a person in United States is 176 centimeter and in Philippines it is 165 centimeter. Now if I show a man having a height of 176 centimeter and ask a person from Philippines about his height then he will say that the person is high heighted. Whereas a person from United States will look at this person and say that the man is average heighted. And a person from Netherlands will say that the man is short heighted. Now you can see that for the same height, different people have different perception and they use different linguistic terms like short, average and high. Now if I ask you to assign a single value to these linguistic term then assigning a single value will not handle the ambiguity or vagueness in preference. In such cases, we use fuzzy set theory in which we assign a membership function to each linguistic term rather than assigning a single value. Now, what are these membership function? In our example, it is a function that defines the relationship between height, which is an independent variable and a dependent variable known as degree of membership. Now the value of degree of membership lies between 0 and 1. Now this is a membership function for the term short. Here you can see that rather than assigning a single value, a function is assigned ranging from 150 to 170. Similarly, we can assign membership to other linguistic terms as well. Now here we can see that the value 176 have two linguistic term associated with it. 176 will be 40% average. We can see that the vertical line from 176 intersect mu average at 0.4. Now this mu average is the membership function of average. So this 0.4 degree of membership when converted to percentage will be 40%. So 176 is 40 percent average. Similarly, you can see that this 176, the vertical line from 176 intersect mu high, that is the membership function of high at 0.6 degree of membership. That is when you convert 0.6 to percentage, that will be 60 percent. So 176 is 60 percent high. So 176 is 40% average and 60% high. This is the beauty of fuzzy that it is more flexible and caters the fuzziness or vagueness in preference. I guess you all have seen my video titled multi-criteria decision making example. I have given the link in the description below. In that video, I have used a five point scale to convert a linguistic term used in looks. But assigning a single value to these linguistic term cannot handle the vagueness in preference. In many research work, people often use Likert scale to quantify the preferences. Now again, the question comes, is it correct to assign a single value to these linguistic terms. In such cases where you are using linguistic term in the survey to give preferences, 
Quantification of those values can be done using fuzzy scale and fuzzy MCDM method can be used. Thank you and have a nice day.